Okay, my hand's shaking again, folks. Sorry. Okay. Let's see if we can make this one turn up nicely. Going to make it 141.4 for this. So the contrast is going to go up a little bit. Okay, let's see what our book is. It's not a book, it's a Coles recipe magazine. And we got this, whoever he is, Curtis. I think it's Curtis Stone from what I know. I don't know much about celebrities. Uh, I just know that he's a famous cook. Anyway, we're photocopying that. But basically, yeah, I don't follow celebrities, folks. So I'm just going to recap. We're going to photocopy this page, this picture. I'm trying to focus on that in particular. But basically, yeah, I don't follow celebrities as a general rule most of the time. I don't have a, I don't have an interest in what they do and what they eat, what they who they marry, who they divorce, or you know when they divorce because they divorce a lot. They're not very good uh, stewards of marriage. You know, they they say their vows and it just seems like a load of plasticky shit when celebrities get married. So you don't take I don't take them very seriously when it comes to marriage. Now we've got a really nice result. Uh, wondering if that's going to be the centre of the job where I wanted those colourful muscles to show up like that. But basically, the most celebrities just don't have any sense when common sense when it comes to relationships. Uh, they don't seem to have any any idea on how to have a proper relationship and how to keep it keep it functioning, keep it together. They just seem to have this tendency to fuck things up in the, in the marriage world. So they just don't get it. And, they, and people just love to see them get married. People just seem to enjoy and seem to excite, get excited over celebrity marriages. And I just think, yeah, right. It's like, yeah, right. Wonder what's going to go wrong. Is it does. It usually goes wrong. So... Yeah, so we're going to photocopy this. It's our master copy. But basically, they just can't seem to hold their shit together <laughs> when it comes to marriage. They are the worst fucking people when it comes to marriage. So you can't, um, you can't sort of respect, have any respect for them in the in the marriage game because they just don't seem to have the ability to hold the shit together. They just lose their fucking. Well, not lose. I think losing your shit means to have a, a meltdown or a tantrum, or get really, really upset. And you know, uh, but I'm, what I meant by hold lose their shit is they just do stupid things. That's probably not the right use for that term, but you get my drift. They just don't know how to keep their their lives in gear. They they just have an innate ability to fuck things up when it comes to relationships or even friendships. So, you know, you just can't respect them. You know, people just get so excited about them and yet they, they seem to be unaware that celebrities are usually st stupid in, as I said, when it comes to marriage or even friendships. Uh, now what have I done? This stupid user interface. Oh, we don't... What do I just hit? Now I've fucked up. Fucking hit something. I heard it. I heard it. And this is what I hate about... I don't want it. That's it. See, this user interface is a piece of shit. We are now getting back to the issue that I normally pull pull off, and that is to get angry at this um, design of photocopier. So we're now gone all of a sudden from celebrity uh, fuck-ups to corporate fuck-ups like this photocopier. And again, people who are, who run companies like Konica Minolta, such as Shia Yamana, like a celebrity, can't do the right thing. 
uh, you don't hear about things like relationships too much with uh, CEOs, but you, you can tell them the products that they make don't don't deliver as, as well as they should. And <laughs> it's just a fuck up. So again, while CEOs are like celebrities, they got lots of money, they too fuck things up. They just care about money and they make shit. They make cr- crappy uh, commercial products. They make them last only a short time before you have to replace them. It's really, really bad. Um, so it's not just the um, movie stars or other celebrities I'm having a go at. I'm now having a go at the industry that I once revered. <laughs> I don't revere it anymore, folks. I've sort of found it's like like celebrities in the movies uh, and other celebrities in entertainment it's not it's a load of shit it's a fuck load of shit so it's not just the entertainment industry that I'm criticising I'm criticising now the corporate world like Shia Yamana the CEO of Konica Minolta <sighs> they just care about money and you don't and to have these equipments not last long is not good for the planet to have them working having them assembled in China and and Vietnam is not good for the human race because you've got these uh, slave workers uh, in a sweatshop. That's normally why they companies turn to places like China and Vietnam because the, the labour is cheap and they don't have high uh, health and safety issues, um, OH&S, or that's what it used to be called a while back. They changed it, the name of it, but health and safety is really bad in in some of these factories or a lot of these factories. I don't know. I can't quantify, but I've heard that the safe that I don't know for sure about Conica Minolta because I don't have anything on it from the news or anything. But I know it's. I suspect there's slave labour in there, from what I know about it. But anyway, that looks really quite nice. I think now we can call this demo quits.